Welcome to Rebel Life Boxing, where I talk boxing and anything in between. Make sure to catch new videos daily at 9 a.m., 9.30 a.m., 1 p.m., and 5 p.m. Also, catch an early bird video weekdays at 6 a.m. Support the channel, and thanks for watching. So, I've been reading some boxing articles, and they've been saying how it looks like Terrence Crawford will be fighting Josecito Lopez next. Yeah, I said it. Josecito Lopez is more than likely going to end up being Terrence Crawford's next opponent. It's boxing, man. I mean, listen. I give Errol Spence a lot of hell on here, and he's one of my favorite fighters. But I still give him some hell because there were moments, and there still are, moments where I think he's a little nervous of Terrence Crawford. He, the things he said lead me to believe this. The things he's done, the words he's saying, his energy. A lot not going to agree with me, but I just feel like that. Now, here we go to Bud Crawford, Terrence Crawford, man. He's not getting let off the hook either. This guy. Now, I know everything is not Terrence Crawford's fault. You know, you got Bob Arum. He don't want to pay for the Spence fight right now. He don't want to give Sean Porter a, a, a decent amount of money to fight, but the Thurman fight, he's lowballed th Keith Thurman. So where, where, where else is there for Terrence Crawford to really go, bro? He's not, he has to do everything Bob Arum tells him to do. If Bob Arum tells him, yo, you got to fight three, three gatekeepers or three, you know, prospects or whoever, he got to fight them, right? He's under on the, on the contract, right? This is Bud's fault though, man. When you think about it, this is Terrence Crawford's fault at the end of the day because nobody told him to re-sign with top rank. But... I had made a video a while back and I said some men just don't want to be their own. They don't want to lead themselves. They want to be led by somebody. I don't know if that's that's the deal with Terrence Crawford. He enjoys being under somebody's wing. That's like the equivalent of having a nine to five job, man. <clears throat> there are boxers that make their own moves in the sport. They shake and move. They got people that back them, yeah, but for the most part, there are a few boxers that make their Oh, you know, you got, uh, what was it, Manny Pacquiao, he had to free himself. Um, you got so-called Errol Spence. He so-called makes his own moves. Al, Al Heyman is, is supposed to just be his advisor. Um, you know, a lot, a lot of folks, man. You know, so Terrence Crawford is sealing his own fate right now with top rank, man. He's already on the edge of being out of his prime. He's still stuck to this bozo slob at room. There's nothing he can really do. His hands are tied. Now nah, he, can, he, he can't go to Bob and say, hey, hey, Bob, hey, Bob, I want to fight Keith Thurman, Bob. Please, pretty please. No, nah, come on, man. But now, Josecito Lopez. These are the kind of, this is stuff that I'm talking about with boxing where upsets happen over shit like this, bro. I don't trust Bob Aaron, bro. I had said, I think he gonna set Terrence Crawford up to lose his belt. Mark my words. I hope not. Before Bud's contract is up, that's what's gonna happen. Something, I, I don't like that dude, Bob Aaron, bro. Hosted Cito Lopez is... That's not no real competition for Bud. But you know something, man? Things happen like that in boxing. Just like that. Jose C. Lopez go in there and knock Bud Crawford out. And boof, no belt. His belt is gone. Or some mysterious reason, Jose C. Lopez outboxes Bud to the cards. And then there you go. And the new Jose C. Lopez is the new WB, the new WBO welterweight champion of the world. Come on, man. That shit was looking like to me Bob is set, trying to set Bud up. I don't know. I could be wrong, but I feel that shit. 
Bud still could have been more vocal and say, hey, look, I want to fight Sean. Let's get it. Let's get it, Sean. Let's go. Let's go. I could have sworn um, he told, didn't he just tell, who was it, wasn't it Bud that told Sean Porter, hey, I got you on standby? Was it, was it Bud? I made a video about that. I think it's Bud, right? Now they, now they talking about Jose Cito Lopez. Listen, man. Pay attention to things that's unfolding because this could be a potential upset or a robbery waiting to happen. This could be Bob Arum's gift to Bud as an exit gift. Like, okay, motherfucker, you're going to exit, but you ain't exiting with that WBO belt. Pay attention. What you think about this fight? Jose Cito Lopez. I mean, this is a meaningless fight, bro. Meaningless. Versus Terrence Crawford. Potentially, that is what uh, the news articles, Boxing World articles are talking about. What do you think about this fight? I know you're going to say the same thing I'm saying, but I still want to know. Get back, like, and subscribe, and drop a comment. This is Rebel Life Boxing. I'll catch y'all later on the next one. Peace.